Hello Gemini, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. So today it's time for your August 2020 tarot reading. So let's start with a little bit of Guardian Angel Aura Spray. Now that we've cleansed the air, we can start shuffling. I've had these cards with this stone on it. So every card deck has its own stone on it to recharge the energies. So let's see. Angel Spirits Guides, is there any information inside this deck? For Gemini, for August 2020, please. The information is highly appreciated as we hope it's gonna guide us on our perfect path in life. Let's see, is there any information for Gemini in here? For August 2020, please. Gemini, August 2020. Anything else inside this deck for Gemini for August 2020, please? Hmm. That's interesting. Gemini, August 2020. Okay, let's try later. <laughs> That's very interesting. Let's see if there is an animal spirit for you guys. Angel spirits, guys, is there any information for August 2020 for Gemini in here, please? Information for August 2020 for Gemini, please. Okay, beautiful. Wow. Now let's see if there is anything inside the angel answer deck for you guys. Angel spirits guides, any information for Gemini in here? For August 2020, please. What do Gemini people have to know? Thank you very much. Two cards came out. Then let's see if there is any angel answers for Gemini, please. Angel answers for Gemini, please, for August 2020. Anything that Gemini needs to know for August 2020, please? Okay. Thank you, angels. Now we have it. Let's ask these ones once again. See if there is anything else. Anything for Gemini in here? Yes, we get one. Okay, wow. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Thank you, angels. <laughs> okay. Great. Now we're done shuffling, we're going to go right into your interpretation. So Gemini, this is your August 2020 tarot reading. First of all, you had the Five of Wands reversed. That's actually a good thing because it means that after some kind of um, fight or dispute or yeah let's say some there was some conflict uh, after that you are now in the time of reconciliation so there is harmony and there is success and all of the problems are being solved okay so if there is an opportunity to collaborate with other people then try not to be too competitive or bossy but play fair and avoid any conflict then we had the Three of Swords. This is an indicator that there was some past heartache. Either you went through divorce or your relationship split up 
or somebody had a surgery and maybe you've had some great loss maybe you know it could be that some of your relatives have died or something it's a it's a big loss that has happened a heartbreak maybe even a depression so you need time to heal because maybe you didn't even reckon with this maybe it came very fast this change so try to remain a tender and open heart um, and not become bitter over what happened okay I know that these things are extremely tough to go through um, but we have to try to to really accept our grief our sadness and dive into that grief and sadness really feel it and for the betterment of when we are finished with the grief then we can still have an open heart okay so um, I'm really sorry for you guys if that's somebody who died okay um, and uh, what else did I want to say about this card Definitely you will love and thrive again after all of this heartache, um, but now your heart needs a little bit of time to heal, okay? Then uh, we have the two of wands. That's a very bright future. I mean, this person is planning uh, to travel. She is planning her future. She's thinking about how beautiful everything is gonna be. And the two ones, they can also represent a choice. So you have the choice maybe to either stay in your comfort zone in what you know, or to make a leap of faith, to jump into a new future, to, take that adventure and the, the way i feel right now i think you're gonna take this adventure you're gonna take this new opportunity that's coming your way and it's beautiful okay so the two of wands can also mean that you're waiting for some kind of results so maybe maybe you had a, you're waiting for a test result of an exam or a test result of a medical test but somebody's waiting for results here uh, then we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, um, he says, I move quickly um, to help others. And as I do so, my dream expands. So maybe you jump in and save the day at work. Maybe there is a troubleshooter needed and you're the one who jumps in and says, hey, I can do this. Or you help your neighbor because something is broken and you know exactly how to repair it. Or, you know, it's you're basically the hero saving the day. You're Superman in this card, okay? So um, definitely somebody is really going to be happy to have you in their life. And um, what else did I want to say? It could also be a very fast lifestyle change. So if you take this beautiful opportunity that you had here from the two of ones, it could be that your whole life is changing really quickly. So maybe you have a completely new profession or you have a completely new lifestyle. Maybe you say goodbye to the old... Uh, wobbly belly and you say now I'm gonna go on a diet and I'm just gonna eat very differently than before <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I keep my wobbly belly for a while <laughs> so um, I think this is a very good card a good and new start and it's gonna come in quickly it's beautiful it's talking about ambition success intellect and very smart choices then you here have the angels that say let go so if you want to jump into that new adventure of course you have to first let go of your old life yeah of course if we want to do a lifestyle change and if we want to eat differently then we have to let go of our old eating habits right and if we want to work in i don't know in another country in the future then we have to leave behind our old country so uh, this is just a reminder that you um, have to let go here if you want to start a new adventure and that's going to be perfectly fine. Then you have the Guardian of Abundance. So the Guardian of Abundance tells you um, that your plans will be flourishing. Everything will go according to how you have, you have planned it and it's beautiful possibilities coming your way in terms of job, in terms of love, in terms of relationships, in terms of health, in terms of housing. It could be anything, but definitely beautiful possibilities are coming your way. This is a card of absolute abundance, okay? So um, be sure to really take these opportunities and not miss them. 
An other meaning of this card could also be that for some of you it's time to go in retirement, but this is a very specific meaning which is not going to be valid for all of you, logically. Then we have the messenger of thinking. So messenger of thinking is saying to you um, that uh, either there is somebody around you or it's you, but definitely that person loves knowledge and loves the intellect and loves the, you know, the, um, the philosophy, talking about philosophy, diving into philosophy, reading books, you know, everything that's intellectual is drawing this person in. And I see a person here which loves to read. So maybe there is some new topic that you really dig into and you bought a huge bunch of books and you want to read them all at once. <laughs> so that's the feeling that I get here. Somebody really loves to um, suck up all the knowledge like a sponge. You know, your brain is like a sponge and you want to get all that knowledge and you, you learn from different teachers and you love to share that emotion that uh, that that information that you've learned so maybe um, maybe you are a teacher could also be that you're a teacher or that is a, that's a new teacher arriving in your life maybe you go back to school or get a course at college I don't know but definitely there's a new topic coming in and it's intellectually delicious for you okay um, anything else I wanted to say to that card yeah, that's actually it. And last but not least, you had the air. I love this card. It's really, really beautiful. And the air says thought, alignment, breath, intention. So sometimes in life we get a little bit too much in our head and we try to solve every problem with the intellect. But sometimes all we need is air. All we need is to sit and breathe for a moment, you know, like really let it all go for a second because sometimes you know maybe you are too much in your head about something maybe you are too trying to solve something with so much vehemence <laughs> i don't know if that's the right word i, I just took it from german <laughs> you're really trying to solve something but at the moment there is no yes or no answer to this question so just sit breathe and Take in the air, you know, go to some place where the air is fresh, somewhere out in nature where it's quiet, where you can sit and meditate. Enjoy the air, do some pranayama. I mean, in yoga, we know pranayama is very, very beautiful and it's how to breathe right. You know, there are different exercises. You can find them on YouTube. They're all very easily done. You can try them. It's beautiful and it makes your head so much clearer if we just breathe right if we have enough oxygen in our brain yeah it just makes us lighter like a feather okay so if these problems from the three of swords from this heartache are weighing you down if you have the feeling that this is weighing you down this is the feather that goes up and says just breathe and be light like the air okay so it's um it's a feeling of, yeah, maybe if you're still in that energy of the heartbreak, then you just need to give yourself the time to go out in nature, to breathe, to meditate. And after some time when the healing and everything is done, there are beautiful things on the horizon. I mean, this is very, very positive. This is extremely positive. And this, yeah, you have so much abundance coming in and, and you're helping people and people are glad to have you. So I think, I think that this is a good reading and that you will overcome this heartache. Definitely, Gemini. So good luck for August, Gemini. If you like the reading, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm happy to read if it resonated for you. At the moment, I'm still in a stage where I can answer all of the comments personally. <laughs> it's still not so many, so it's perfect. And yeah, um, I wish you a beautiful August and I'll see you next month. Bye, Gemini.